Now it's time to decorate our Christmas tree. And so if you find yourself at home, quite confused as to whether you even need a tree at home, well, yes, it's Christmas, you do need a tree if you can afford it. And so if you've already bought your tree, but you don't know how to put it together, well, Hannah from Nadi Settings is here. She's an events planner and a stylist. And so we have all these things here and this beautiful tree where she's going to decorate for us. Welcome to TV's Renew Day. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. All right, so first of all, let's ask, when do you need to put up your tree? Okay, so, I mean, December, festive season for us to put up a Christmas tree. So some people do it first week in December or oh. before December. People like do November. their tree before December? Yes. And some do it, I mean, on the eve of Christmas. Okay. And that's 24th. Oh, so it's, it's not, I mean, it's not too late if you haven't mounted your tree no, at this time. No, It must go up at least before the 25th. Sure. I see. All right. Now, if I'm buying a tree, what are some of the things I should look out for? Um, first of all, your space. Okay. I mean, if you don't have a big space, you don't need to do a bigger tree all right. to take much of your space. So you look at the space you have and then what can fit into that space. Okay. So you are at liberty or free to choose which size you want, you want. depending on the space you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be a green tree, right? I've seen some white trees. I've seen a few other options as yes, well. Yes, I mean, what do you want? What do you want? But normally, you know, the festive season comes with green and red. Yes. So mostly people do green trees. I see. But now it's All right. Changing. Now I have my tree. How do I know what to buy to decorate it? What are some of the basic things that you'll need to put on your tree? Okay, so like you can see on the table, mm -hmm. we have, I mean, ornaments. Well, yeah, we call it. I see a few interesting things like yes. this flower. So we have here. our Christmas um, bells. Okay. I see some here. Okay. You need and a then Christmas we have bell. Balls. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, things that will make it pop. That's all right. All. So. Is there like really a this. color combination, or usually you can just go with as many colors? You can as go with as many colors, colors as, as possible. You want. Yeah. All right. So then, where do we start from? I know you have already done a bit of the work, and this is because, of course, on TV we won't have that much time to start from scratch. And so the lights are already in, and I believe that every tree must go with some lights. A light. It's important. Yes. Okay. So where do we start from? What do we do? Tell okay. Us. So we'll start hanging. I mean, we just hang a lot of ornaments on the tree. Is there a particular way to go about it or you just hang no. anywhere, anyhow? We have, exactly, anywhere. Anywhere, anyhow. So you just okay. pick. All right. Okay, let's do the balls. Okay. okay. Wait, where, where do you put it? At the tip of the tree. At the tip, so it will hang. Okay, wait. Let me just try and separate it. Okay, you go ahead. I'm also trying to help you. And so whatever you do, I'm going to do same. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, AJ, I'm putting the balls on the tip of the tree because that's where I, I believe it's not supposed to go in. No. All the way it to the back. Hang. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're doing the balls first. Or we can hang anything and everything at all. I'm going to leave you to do most of the work because I don't know where to start from. You can help. Okay. Well, this doesn't have um, a rope. Okay, the ones that don't have roots, we actually use um, a fishing line. Fishing line? So you have to create them, them yourself? Yes, yes. Okay. So not all of them come with the strings, or you have to put the strings on yourself? No, some come with the strings, some okay. don't. Okay, okay. So okay. you just have to create one. All right, cool. And then... Should I open this up for you? Yes, please. All right. So if you just tuned in, this is TV3 New Day, it's a morning show, and we are decorating our Christmas tree. So this is something you can also try at home. And these are basic things that you can find on the market, easy to buy. Um, I don't think they are too expensive either. So like she said, the colors are all dependent on you, but you should buy a tree that fits into your space. Don't go and buy a mountain tree uh, that's too big for the space in your house. And uh, these are the ornaments that we're fitting onto the tree as well. What does it signify? I mean, having a tree in your home, what does it signify? Um, for us, I mean, Christmas is all about celebration mm -hmm. and then spending time with friends and family. Yeah. 
and then the most um, symbolic image that comes with Christmas, it's the Christmas tree. Okay. So a lot of the times when you mm. go visit people on Christmas Day, what brings the difference is the Christmas tree. Okay. Like, I mean, you enter the home and then there's a tree. So that at least puts you in the mood as well. Of course. Okay. Are there, um, are these the biggest size balls or do they have different types? Oh, we have different, different types. types. We have bigger balls. We have sizes oh, like this okay. and we have bigger ones than this. I see. Well. So, so this is also going to go on the tree? Yeah, you can hang it on the tree. At what point? So we can actually hang it at the top. I thought that star goes up there. We don't have a star. Here. We do have a star, don't okay. we? Okay. Oh yeah, we do. So we actually have a Christmas star. star. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you can replace the star with the ball. You the don't ball, necessarily yeah. have to have a star at the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it sits at the top somewhere. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a struggle. Sorry. But yeah, you can put your star up there to, to hang. There. Okay. All right. Well, I guess this ball will work then. This our star is almost falling, but it's fine. <laughs> Pardon us. So if we have a star, we don't need this? We still need. You can okay. put it somewhere. Anywhere. Anywhere, just so. But if it's If heavier, it's heavy. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Some. Ah, this looks beautiful. So you literally have to fill every part of the tree yes. with ornaments. Otherwise, it won't look nice. It won't look nice. We okay. just have the greenery and then... You know what people are worried about as well. And pardon us, we can see the um, the musical instruments behind us. Pardon, there's a bit of a problem there. But we have a performance coming up, and so that's why you see all these other uh, things behind us as well. And so that's going to happen before we wrap up. So we've talked about when your Christmas tree can go up. When should it go down? There are people who go as far as March with their tree still up. I thought Christmas ends on 31st. 31st December. Well, I thought so. But we can keep it till January. Like end, end of, of January. January? Yes. Is that not too far take, away? Depending. I mean, people are still in the Christmas mood after 31st night. Okay. We have 1st January, New Year. And then, I mean, after January, people okay. take it off. A lot of our decor stuff are taken off after January. There's so. something I've noticed. Not everybody likes the tree. I see all the reindeers and the other you know, uh, things that people put up as well. And so if you're going to have a tree, can you still have all that or you need to choose between them? Oh, you can still have. All of you those. You can still have all of those, depending on how you put them up. I mean, the tree can be in a corner and then all the other ones can be can spread be. across. I, I mean, see. In your anyway, this is Hannah yeah. from Nadi Settings and we're talking about um, Christmas and the need to have a tree at home. And also, I've noticed that there are boxes that are put underneath the tree, and that's for Boxing Day. Yes. When do you place the boxes? When you put up your Christmas tree. So if I put it up in November, end of November, I can put my boxes there? Yes. But the boxes are supposed to be gifts sure. for 26. So I thought maybe you put the boxes under the Some tree on the 25th. Some put boxes earlier. When the Christmas tree is put up, you put your boxes under. And these boxes gifts. must have presents. Gifts. You can't just put empty boxes no. there because then there's no point. Sure. Ah, okay. But a lot of people put empty boxes. And then maybe just on decorate. just to decorate. So you do need the boxes as well. You can't just leave a tree. No, without boxes. Oh, is it? Okay. I see. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> Where do we put this bell? All right. Okay. And so as you can see, we've put together our Christmas tree and it depends on you and how heavily decorated you want it or not. And so this is what we've been able to do. And this is Hannah from Nadi uh, Settings and she just taught us how to put together a beautifully decorated tree. And so with your uh, star at the top and everything else in between.